Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about zero point perspective. And the first thing we need to do is we need to talk about the fact that we're just going to make basic 3D shapes. And to have a basic 3D shape, we need to think of it in three dimensions, three planes. That means we have to have height, width, and depth. That might not mean much right now, so don't worry, I'm going to try and explain that in another way. So I'm going to start off with drawing a basic shape. I'm just going to draw a simple square. And I've just done this square, same size again, and up into the side a bit. But you can see I've done that front square just that little bit darker. And what that does is it helps create a depth. So I'm going to make that just that little bit darker at the front. And I'll try that again with a circle. So I'm going to create a cylinder. And again, I'll make the circle and the same up into the side a little bit and then connect the edges. It's a little bit more tricky this time because I'm not making a 3D circle and making a 3D cylinder. Obviously a 3D circle would be a bowl, so I'll show you how to do that one later. Anyway, so I'm gonna erase my inside lines, my working lines, my guidelines, whatever you wanna call them. And there you go, I've got my 3D square and my 3D cylinder. I'm just making sure that I've got that front line being a bit darker because that creates that sense of depth. And I'm just going to shade that in for you just to add to that sense of depth. Okay, so I'm going to try it with a bit more of a complicated shape now. I'm going to try it with the letter K. And so I'm going to build up my K using basic shapes. So I'm using a rectangle and then a parallelogram and another parallelogram to create that K. And I'm gonna do that same shape again and up into the side of it. And the reason I've done it as basic shapes just to start with is so that I can then build it up a little bit more easily. And I'm checking the size as I go, just doing it up and to the side a little bit. This is where it gets a bit more tricky. And this is where it's really important to have that dark line at the front so I know which is my front and which is my back. So I'm just gonna go over that line because I was starting to get a bit confused and now I've got that clear dark outline at the front of my shape and that makes it so much easier for me to understand and I'm just going to connect those corners together just like I did with the square just like I did with the cylinder connecting everything together and then I can just erase my guidelines Let's try that with another letter shape. Again, I'm just gonna use basic shapes to build that letter. So a rectangle and then another rectangle. And I'm just gonna outline that nice and clearly just to make my life easier. What's really important to note when you're doing the connecting lines, the diagonal lines, the depth lines, you need to make sure that they are parallel with each other. If they're not parallel, then the illusion does not work. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and do that with some different shapes, maybe some shapes with some holes in it. Because this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So I'm gonna try with the letter A, again, using basic shapes as I should do for every kind of drawing, no matter what I'm drawing, I build it up using basic shapes to create my letter. I'm gonna put my triangle for my A there. And now I'm gonna try and recreate that shape up and to the side a bit and connecting those corners together again. All stuff you've seen me do already. I'm not gonna need to really connect those because I'm not gonna be able to see them, they're the other side of the shape. But I am going to just remind myself of exactly the front of my shape that I'm making, the front of my 3D A, by drawing that line a little bit darker again. And then I can just shade inside the area because I can't see all the way through the hole. I can just see the inside of the 3D A. Just gonna shade using different values to create that 3D effect and erase my guidelines. Ta -da! All right, let's try that again. Okay, I 
again because I've done that shape so big you can't really see the hole all the way through. I'm going to do that one more time. And you can see this time I'm doing it up and just slightly closer this time rather than so far away. That's because I want to be able to see all the way through the hole and I'm going to make sure that hole is really big as well so I can see all the way through it. And I'm going to do that hole again, the same shape, up and to the side a bit. I'm going to remind myself which is the front shape by doing that outline and for the hole as well. And now you can really start to see that 3D effect but it really helps if I add the shading in. And there we go. So you can see all the way through that letter that, that time. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching. And I hope that you can try and practice this skill now and enjoy yourself doing it. That's zero point perspective. Just basic drawing of 3D shapes.